what it means to be first. This past weekend, I had the distinct pleasure of moderating an event celebrating the first girls of Stuyvesant High School, a math and science-focused New York City public school and my alma mater. I have close ties to the school, I still count my former classmates among my best friends and mentor a current student, and yet I had never really focused on the people who came before me that made it possible for me to attend. In 1969, the same year as the launch of Apollo 13, as the Stonewall in riots, and as the very first Woodstock Festival, a 13-year-old girl by the name of Alice de Rivera decided she wanted to go to Stuyvesant, then an all-boys school. De Rivera filed a suit against the Board of Education with the charge that the school policy was discriminatory and denied girls the equal protection of the laws. When asked to defend the policy, the BOE backed down and acquiesced to demands that girls be allowed in. Speaking about the suit on a panel Sunday afternoon in New York City, De Rivera, who now goes by her married name, Haynes said that her main reasons for going through with it were that she was of an opinionated and slightly arrogant disposition and that she thought the existing policy was pretty stupid, since she had scored better than many of the boys on the Stuyvesant entrance exam. Today, about 3% of exam takers are accepted. While Haynes never ended up attending the school, her parents moved to the suburbs, 13 other girls did that fall thanks to her.